which is the infamous notorious <laughs> J. <laughs> Todd <laughs> Point Deshaun. Uh, uh, we made contact and found some common ground, and so we're going to take advantage of sharing that and letting you, letting you see a little conversation. What's mm -hmm. changed, if anything, if we've changed each other's minds about uh, HIV and AIDS and how to how to live with that and how to deal with that. Well, that's one thing that freaked you out when I first told you that I had taken drug holidays and I went for a whole year without the argument that the drugs were. Oh, I think the drugs were. And they the just drugs. they just messed me up so much I could I'm a dead desire to evolve. And it and it, there's three I say call it the three commandments again. One, first one is uh, I mean it never just sounds dramatic and I don't I'm not trying to exaggerate it. I really finally got to the point where. I, if this is life, well, I didn't diagnose you. I said to me, it looks like it might be, no. and therefore you might this want is, to. This is how it got. This is how it started. Yeah. 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 That's my opinion. I think there are crazy people on both sides. Oh yeah, people out there. Yeah. 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 On the distant side, in my opinion, from what I've seen, hold on to something with such tenacity that they don't want to let it go. I I, I have to agree. It sounds like an amalgamous <laughs> religious <laughs> church, yeah. which is exactly what they accuse. You're the doctor. It's just ridiculous, this whole conspiracy theory that I'm working for. Well, you didn't for. ask the question. Do you have oh. any money? Have you ever never. received any kind of Let me tell you why I picked the blood guy. I'm, so, I'm such a slow thinker that I it never really quite got You know, if somebody's going to pick up that pull quote when you just said, I'm stupid. I know. Well, You're going to just see that on YouTube now being played over and over again. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm stupid. stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Uh, uh, I can admit my weak points. How did we go from being enemies to being able to sit and talk and have a conversation? To me, you get this whole dissident orthodox split is not going to get resolved. And I've had conversations with some really key people on the dissident side that have, have, have shared this with me too. Is we have to find some common ground and start talking. Right. Because I see one more dissident say some bullshit about how AZT is killing people. It was high. Don't forget the HIV. This whole thing was killing people left and right. They're act up without their screaming for a medication. Yeah. No one else buys stuff. They wanted medications. They wanted AZT. I was one of them. Yeah, they started. These, they started these the are extremes. Of saying that the, the drugs are, are, are harmless or at, at the very least that the benefits outweigh the, the, the risks. Right. To their, they'll, they'll, you know, take one pill, you're going to die. Uh, right. and, and the truth is somewhere in between. Yeah, exactly. and, and way back when, saying drugs into bodies now. And we got that, and we got that and more. And I don't think we knew what we were asking for at that time. And the pharmaceutical company took that leverage, and they're milking it. This is not, and as a gay man in a community facing an epidemic, this is not an acceptable. And this is not good enough. And the drugs, drugs are not. The drugs, but we stopped looking for other, you know, other possible. Things that are affecting the health of gay men. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're having a lot of sex. I mean, it's just a natural thing, and it's it, it's evolving to the point where now we're getting married, we're becoming more monogamous. And there's still some a sunset, are. and it's always been the case. Uh, straight argument. people don't do that. There's straight swingers bars. There. Oh yeah. yeah straight straight men, people do drugs and have sex. Too. It's not physiologically oh. possible for you to have twelve orgasms a night. Oh, that's 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 not true. <laughs> Trust me. Really? Just, that's right. just too non-specific. To really be able to say, and to, to me, it's it's one piece of a of a puzzle that we need to pay attention to. I'm not saying it's here's here's, here's what I'm trying to get at. I don't think it's as, it's everything that the orthodoxy claims. To do. I don't think it's infallible. I don't think it means you're going to get AIDS. I also disagree with the dissident side that says it's meaningless. Uh -huh. It's clearly not meaningless. Before and they need to come together because like you have Duisberg on one side and the curse on the other side. Duisberg says, hey, there is a virus here. It's been cultured. It's been isolated. It's been proven, you know, molecularly that there, there is a virus here. There's another thing. People like to come down on me and my education. I'm more educated than Papadopoulos is. She's just an x-ray tech. You know, tell someone that's they like to say yeah. that, you know, the endogenous retroviruses are oftentimes mistaken for HIV. HIV is like 10,000 base pairs. Endogenous retroviruses, because they've done the human genome project now, so they've counted that out. They know what they're talking about. The endogenous retroviruses are like 10 times that. The size of but HIV for a retrovirus is very small. The endogenous retroviruses are huge. There's no way they can be mistaken for HIV. Well, they're, they're completely different. I'm still, I'm still very skeptical that HIV is the sole and sufficient cause of AIDS, but I do think it exists. Uh -huh. I, I, I think you know. I don't. And I'll change my mind as I get more knowledgeable. 
if need be, that HIV is a marker as an effect. I don't give a rat's ass if HIV exists or doesn't exist. Uh-huh. I don't care. I just want people to stop getting sick and dying. And and I don't want to rely. I don't. I want to find alternatives and options to mm-hmm. triple cocktail AIDS drugs. And I agree with you. The definition of AIDS changes, or anything about the HIV research changes. The distance grab that and say, see, see, they're wrong, they're wrong. They keep changing what they're saying. That's what science does. Science evolves as we learn more about something. Oh, science grows and saying, rethinking AIDS. Is there, you know, is that, because that represents a group of people that are uh-huh. supposed to be rethinking, but I don't see a lot of no, re, AIDS. I don't see anything being re, re anything. It's like they've, they've created this alternative dogma right. that, is, that is also flawed and imperfect mm-hmm. and, and getting flawed. I'd like to prevent AIDS. You know, I, I, I think there's uh, the gay community has a big responsibility for looking at lifestyle um, behavior. Uh, but it's societal, too, because now that it, we're actually able to get married, now things are going to change because society is looking at us differently. So it's, people are going to say less promiscuous as they're able to get married and have kids and have families. And, and it breaks my heart that young gay people, young gay men, are being encouraged and, and, and told to take this fucking pill to... Or they like basically discovered now, like the first, I think the first known case was in 1966 or 56, I can't remember which. So, yeah, it's been around for longer than we've known. I don't think, I don't think the change each other's minds or, or general it's an evolution of me, too. Back then, when I first found out about this, these people, like I said, I, would, I read a lot about this stuff and I just thought there were some crazy fuckers out there. So, I started, at first, I started making fun of it. And then I started thinking it was very dangerous and it wasn't quite so funny anymore. Are you talking about my view like HIV Innocence Group Truth? That one? <laughs> Just taking the task of a certain man named Clark Naylor? Well, I, you want to talk about that? <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, that's fine with me, that because I'm going to let it go through the court system like it's supposed to. But once this lawsuit is over with, and I'm able to really, really start blogging and posting about all the untruths in that lawsuit, people are going to see him for who he is. I think I'm, I'm just like speculating now that he thought a lawsuit would put you in a real spot because you wouldn't have the resources to defend exactly. against. If I'm, if, I'm, if I'm such a pharma slut and I've got so much money from the pharmaceutical companies, I could have just thrown a million dollars at this lawsuit and been done with it. But I had to get my drugs before I ever knew there was an age distant community. So I felt like I was a, a dis- if, if quitting your drugs is a sign of dissidence, then I, I was a dissident who I've been angry about this community. How many years has it been? Out of about seven years, maybe, involvement. The more I see and learn, the more dysfunctional I realize it is. And that's yeah. why this is Todd. The arbitration is over. Are we done with this? And he was furious. No, my attorney's already working on a lawsuit. We're going to sue you. We're going to get you in court. We're going to depose Dr. Gallo and all this bullshit. I'm like, what the fuck is a gallo there? Anyway, my point is, if we could just talk like human beings and not be furious with each other, you know. Yeah, I, I think that's why I wanted to uh, make this video happen. Because I, to me, I wanted people to see that the two people from very different points of view could could sit down and talk. Yeah. We and got more in common than we got. We don't not have in we, we are discovering we have a lot in common, and that doesn't mean we agree on everything. Exactly. It doesn't mean I've converted you or you've converted me. I'm, right. still, I'm still a skeptic. I'm still, I don't want to use the word dissonant. I'm still a questioner and I'm still a skeptic. Um, uh, well, I have a three-way before I leave. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I didn't think I had a sense of humor, did you? No, I think that Twisted is right and I think you're, you're reminding me of these toxic, caustic drag queens. I did drag once. I looked like uh, she needs them. I, I looked like she needs well, I think we ought to go ahead and cut this. Yeah, I got to call my mom. She left me a voicemail.